want to show this clip of Shannon Sharp calling Kwame Brown a seven foot farmer. Here's a clip right here. Really, Kwame, of all the people, he should never ever question anybody's greatness. Because this is what we know. If there's a Mount Rushmore for bust mm -hmm. in the NBA history, whether he's the first head, the second head, the third, or the fourth, he's on Mount Rushmore of bust NBA players. There's no question. You were supposed to be an all-time great player. You were supposed to be a superstar. That was the supposed. Not LeBron. LeBron James is mm. everything that people thought he would be and more. I remember I heard him talk when Kobe scored 81. He's talking about he's sitting damn good screens. Really? Dude, you the number one pick in the draft, and you talking about you setting screens. Yep. You can just go look it up, Kwame. You have plenty of time. Hell, you own your farm down in, there, down, down in Georgia. You got plenty of time. You ain't playing no hoops. You should still be in the NBA. Bro, go at Gilbert Arenas. Go at, go at Stacks and Matt Barnes that's been on your head. LeBron James has never said anything about you. You're a joke, really. Real real talk, you're a joke. Mm. Okay, so Kwame Brown didn't take too kind of the disrespect that Shannon Sharp gave him today, responded to his take on LeBron James. Kwame has said, yo, you could have just said you disagree with my take, but you didn't have to disrespect me. So Kwame Brown went live again, and he doubled down on the disrespect towards Shannon Sharp. And um, with that being said, you guys need to listen to it because Kwame Brown went off. And yeah, man, he had a lot of words to say to Shannon Sharp. Let's check out that clip right here. Here's a video. Who the fuck you think you is? Tell me I'm from the crib. Nigga, I'm not no motherfucking farmer. I don't know who told you I was a farmer, nigga. Don't you ever try to diminish me, nigga. Nigga, I'm a father, you bitch ass nigga. I'm not only a father, nigga. I'm an entrepreneur, nigga. I own bitch ass nigga. I got a red dope. That mean I own this bitch outright. No mortgage, fuck boy. I also own several properties that I let black women and most women rent. Nigga, I'm a mother. I am the job, nigga. Don't you ever. And what's so bad about being a farmer? You one bedroom living motherfucker. Didn't you not have a toilet when you raised up? Nigga, you forgot where you came from, didn't you? You done forgot where you came from. Yeah, that's what you did. You done forgot where the you came from, nigga. The fuck you talking about? I'm a farmer. You don't know shit about me. Did you ask me was I a farmer, nigga? I own a fucking tractor, but I ain't no goddamn farmer. But nigga, I'm way more than a farmer. You got a job every day, bitch ass nigga. You got to get up every day and do what Whitey say. You got to be up at 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning and have your bitch ass trimmed and primmed up there to lie to some people act like you know what the fuck you talking about and you nigga. You a football playing punk that don't know shit about basketball, and now you got a check. You a long way away from that elevator that that white girl allegedly sets you up in. Ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you a company boy. They got your mouth. They got your tongue. When they took your job that time, when they set your dumb ass up in that elevator allegedly, now they got your tongue. So now you'll do anything for a job you love. Don't you ever try to diminish me, nigga. I don't got no motherfucking job, nigga. And my bill's paid. Don't you see the light on in this motherfucker, nigga? Don't you see the light, bitch? You see the light on, right? And I ain't had a job in years, motherfucker. So don't you ever think you above me, you ass nigga. Ain't that the goal, nigga, to not work? I don't have a job, boy. See, you think you somebody special because you about to fight about LeBron. Nigga, my light's on, and I don't got to get up and go nowhere, nigga. Okay, man, Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm pretty sure Shannon Sharp is probably going to ignore it. If he doesn't ignore it, he probably is going to apologize. He did apologize to Richard Jefferson when he made some comments about RJ, and RJ had went on his Instagram page, and he had called out Shannon Sharp, and Shannon Sharp quickly responded, to RJ and he had apologized so I'm just saying Shannon Sharp is not shy from apologizing so we should see what happens tomorrow so with that being said man make sure y'all stay updated with my channel hit that like button let's help this video get pushed out and hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the page and I'll catch you guys on the next video you can check out these other videos just in case if you missed it 
I suggest that you watch the full video breakdown of Kwame Brown versus Shannon Sharp at the top left. Salute, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, and we out. Peace. <laughs>